What's going on, guys? Benevolent. Uh, that's good. Benevolent Dick here. Gonna play a game. It's been a while since I've done a Let's Play. We're gonna play Turtles 2 the Arcade game. Let's just get it going. I can talk when I play. I can talk when I play. It's an acquired skill, but I've got it. I've got it down. Actually, let me turn the sound on because I think I turned the sound off because when I was playing this game recently on a stream, I was, uh, had the sound off. I was doing DJ dick that night. All right, we're picking Donatello. He is the worst turtle in this game. He's the absolute worst. I hate him. Uh, least favorite turtle. Uh, worst color. Color purple. Color purple. Uh, my favorite, of course, my, my guy is Raphael. He's crude but rude. But uh, he's my guy. But uh, I recently did this, joined this site called Retro Achievements. It's a cool site. They do not pay me. They do not whatever. I, I'm not endorsed by them or anything. I don't, you know, nothing like that. But it, it is a cool site. Uh, some games have achievements. Uh, most, a lot of games have achievements. So I said, you know what the fuck? Fuck it, I'm gonna go for every achievement on this game. And I recently did that. Got them all. I'm sucking here because I'm grabbing my mouth. Uh, but I noticed the other day I wasn't on hardcore mode, which basically means you're doing everything legit. You can't even use a safe state. Or, you know, safe state will turn off hardcore mode. It basically doubles your point score on the site. Whatever. Uh, so, for some reason it got turned off by accident, and uh, I had. This is the only achievement I need left on Hardcore Mode to complete the set, which is beating the game with Donatello. So, whatever. I'm gonna give it a go. And, uh, I'm actually gonna retire this game after this run. This is my final time playing this game. Uh, probably. I mean, maybe one day when I'm really old, man, or something, I'll play it again. But, uh, hopefully on co-op, you know, co-op would give me an excuse to maybe play it again. Or if I review it or something, maybe I'll play it again, but I don't think I will. Really this game, but uh, it might be fun, but uh, but even then I could probably go back to all my stream footage or something if I even have it, get enough material from there. Alright, so uh, yeah, I mean I'm not great at this game, I'm not going to fucking speedrun a game. Uh, this is a game, believe it or not, that people do speedrun. It's a, uh, I don't know what the world record is, I'm sure it's fucking 30 minutes. To me, a game that takes that long isn't really speedrun material, but people do it. Uh, obviously, the main thing in this game is hitting them with the, with this attack. It saves you time, it's easier. It, uh, it's worth two hits. It doesn't take any health, just like the arcade game. So that's that. Right. Sometimes you can get these guys in a group if you're lucky, but I did not do it. These guys aren't too bad. Very annoying. These dickheads. Uh, I believe they're called Ro Roadkill, Roadkill Rodneys. I believe that's their name. All right, so this boss is one of the hardest bosses for me for some freaking reason. I can't always get him locked. All right, so we're gonna get our 69 kills here. 69, dude. Uh, a lot of these levels seem to have 69, or I'm sorry, 70, 70 enemies. A lot of them do. Uh, you, you get well, anyway. I better focus here. Because this will force me to reset if I die here. I'll talk about that in a second. Right. So I'm gonna try to lock him, but it can be. I don't really know what fucking dick all about doing it. It depends what he does. If he starts charging, that can be a problem. I might just have to fight him like a normal person. Uh, maybe I can lock him. But, uh, I don't really know the trick for that shit. As long as I beat the level death list, we got we got a run going. So let's just start jump kicking him to death, I guess. You know, can't always lock him. Uh, Bebop is usually a little easier to lock, and locking is this one thing where you uh, you're doing the move and he just you just keep doing it and doing it. He doesn't do shit. Anyway, it didn't happen. <clears throat> Again, uh, I don't think there's a difference between any of the turtles in this game, but. Raphael is my dude. I uh, seem to lock the pe fucking lights, man. I gotta turn my hat around. It's like a light switch. Oh my god, I'm getting trolled. The only real trolls in this game are the red Foot Clan soldiers. They really can, can fuck you up. Anyway, what was I saying? Points, points, points. Yeah. So 
turns out the Japanese version. I have not played the Japanese version. I can play the Japanese version sometime. Uh, the point values are better. Greater. Uh, I guess enemies are worth different amounts. In this game, everything's worth a one point. One point. So, uh, some of the achievements for that retro achievement site I was talking about earlier was, uh, there was a lot of point things. But there, uh, the last achievement that was, like, a, the grand whale of that whole achievement set. This game didn't have really great achievements. They should have had, like, a better variety. Um, I think the community kind of makes the achievements or a user. So, I mean, they could have had stuff like, uh, I'm not really even sure. Kill an enemy's death, or a boss's deathless, things like that. That might have been fun. Uh, this one was pretty straightforward. Anyway, there was a nightmare nerd, like, I mean, you had to be a complete crazy person to go after this achievement. But it was, uh, 1,520 points. Now, I don't know why the number 1,520 was chosen. But, uh, on average, uh, this game is, you're gonna come under about, you're gonna come under about 800 enemies. This game is about 800 enemies. In it. Uh, there's two places in the game you can farm, and there's a couple spots with some bullshit. But anyway, so 18, uh, 800 is about... Probably not even, more like 730. 730 is the amount of enemies in this game. So, uh, including bosses. And, uh, the occasional hazards. Some of those are worth points. But anyway, eight, you know, between 700, not quite 800 is, uh, whatever you get in this game. That being said, so how the fuck do you get 1520? Well, you gotta farm, you gotta gain, you gotta use your continues. One thing about this game is when you continue, you uh, keep your points, so it was pretty tough. It took me a couple attempts to real realize how much 1520 is. It's a lot of fucking guys to kill. So that was not a fun achievement, but I, I did it anyway. Because I'm fucking freaky. Anyway. Alright, so we got Bebop coming up here as soon as we kill three yellow dudes here. Boomerang. Yellow jackets here. We got Bebop. Let's see if we can lock him pretty simple here. Come on. No. Don't know if we're gonna lock him, but whatever. I'm kinda over it. Ah, oh, shit, dude. Oh my god, I fucking slipped the finger. Slipped the finger. There we go. Yeah, he's a lot easier to lock than uh, Rocksteady for some reason. Yeah, I gotta wipe this controller off. Easier to lock. Um, goals for this game. Again, I'm just gonna beat it. Uh, you don't beat this game with continues. That's, uh, that's not gonna be a thing. Um, as mundane as it is, you know, you're just going around hitting this attack. And it pretty much takes every motherfucker out. That's pretty much this game. As mundane as that is, and as easy as it makes the game, sort of, minus a couple levels, um, this is still a really hard game, in a lot of ways. Like, uh, as a kid, I could never beat this shit straight up. You'd have to, uh, I'd say for beginners, if you want to beat this game, you have to not die until at least level... Five, I think it is. This is level three. So next we have the snow, then we have Baxter, and then the level after that. That's one of the toughest levels in the game. Um, there's missiles in the water sometimes here. Why can't you stay on trop that trop tropic? Why can't you stay on tropic? You dick. You fucking dick. All right, well I missed some of the missiles, so let's take out these fucking Donkey Kong. They've been playing Donkey Kong a little too seriously to get their hammers. I don't even know where the missiles are. There's missiles you can farm. I think they shoot out eight of them. Uh, I, you, again, you wouldn't want to farm, but recently I did that 1520 achievement, and that was like, I was looking for things like that. Uh, in the arcade game, this is a really easy exploit in this level, where if you stand right on the edge of here, and I'll, I'll probably start playing the arcade game at some point soon. But if you stand right on the edge, uh, you can't even do it in this game. You're pretty much invulnerable. Enemies can't hit you there, and that's how you get to this level of dying. 
But uh, people knock this game, they compare it to the arcade game, which makes sense, it's a port of the arcade game. This game does not play anything like the arcade game, I'm sorry. Uh, there's the missiles. So yeah, if you wanted to farm some points, you can hang out here. I think they're going to shoot eight of them and then they're going to stop coming. And There's a few spawn points for those, but whatever. Um, I mean, the arcade game's good, it's classic. I don't think I like it as much as this game. So, I, I don't know. I'm going to play it again. And st I'll, I'll, I'll force myself to fall in love with it again. I'm going to try to get good at it. Um, this game has a satisfying pop. A nice pop sound. Bap. Bap. The arcade game does not have that. This game is fucking tough. The arcade game is like you're it's you kinda it's very airy, it doesn't really have that that you know, final fight fucking I'm punching somebody's satisfaction aspect, but it's all good. I mean the the uh, arcade game came out in nineteen eighty nine. It's, it's pretty ahead of its not ahead of its time, but uh it's definitely a top arcade game from eighty nine. Uh, a lot of shit that came out in eighty nine was still almost last Jenny shit like Ninja Gaiden or whatever the hell it's called, like, I mean, that game's terrible when you compare, when you consider how cool TMNT was in 89, or fucking Final Fight, which came out in 90, December of 89, so it's practically fucking Christmas time, you might as well be 90, but it's an 89 game, so that game's pretty, uh, whatever. When I was doing the 1520 achievement, though, right there is where I would, I would, you could spawn those mousers. Uh, I think he drops four mousers at a time. I don't know if you can manipulate him to drop four mousers, but I was sitting there killing mousers for a half hour, and then I accidentally killed that bastard, so I had to like, spawn a bunch of motorcycles later for points. It was very... I felt very nerdy and pathetic doing all that. But anyway... Uh, like I said, if you want to beat this game and you're kind of new at it, it's going to be tough. I think this is a hard game still. Um, what you're gonna want to do is get lives. I have every 200 points you get a life in this game. So I don't know how that works in the Japan version. Um, if the if the fucking whatever's are different point values, which is what I've heard. That's what I've heard. Um, so I'm gonna say you're gonna want to get to at least a fair oh. Uh, pretty far into the game without dying. Um, you can continue, but you're gonna start with two lives again. And uh, the Technodrome with two lives, if you're kind of not played this game a whole shit ton like I fucking have recently for some reason. I mean, I like this game, don't get me wrong. But uh, it, it could be pretty tough, man. Again, as kids and stuff, we were always popping in the. the uh, it's not a Konami code, but the Turtles code for. Uh, all the extra lives and shit. Do what you gotta do, but uh, I mean, I still think this is a pretty hard game. Uh, for various reasons, but uh, most of the level stuff's pretty mundane. Uh, a lot of people think it's both buttons to do this move. It's not both buttons, but it is both buttons, but really what you're doing is basically the same as a ninja guy in jump slash. Or a quick slash, I like to call it. We hit A slightly before B, so if your thumb's like this on the thing, and you're kind of rocket, you're gonna get it every time. I have a bad habit from Ninja Gaiden and stuff where I kind of do a slide. It feels like a slide to me. And that gets it out pretty t every time, but it, it's not both buttons. Alright, so yeah, again, I'm not doing very, I'm not really doing any speedrun strats besides the fact that you're going through this game just fucking hitting all these guys with the, the jump thingy. Uh, well, I don't know, maybe I'll get impatient later and just, uh, sometimes what you'll do is just use that move on bosses and they're going to kick your ass and they're going to hit you, but you'll be getting a lot of hits in. It takes them out a little quicker than playing it safe or whatever. I'm going to get bapped in the head here or whatever. 
short level. I think we're at the boss after this. Again, this level was not an arcade game. Alright, what was I saying about the arcade game? Uh, this game doesn't play anything like the arcade game. In fact, if you try to play the arcade game like this, you're gonna get your, your ass murdered. What's this little weird... Okay. Oh my god. Any beat him up, you're gonna get your ass murdered. Now hold on, let me try to do the soft lock. Not soft lock, but lock this bear real quick. Which I can never really do, it's kind of tricky. I don't know, sometimes he gets out of it and he's like, whatever, he cares. Whatever, bear. Polar bear. I'm trying to make it cold over here, man. The turtles don't like the cold. They don't like that type of shit. But actually, if I died here, that would be kind of sad. Oh, what the fuck? What the hell? I mean, the, the arcade game, if you play it like this game, you're gonna get murdered. Especially by yourself. The arcade game feels a lot lonelier. There's a lot of arcade games that, uh, some of them have a lonely factor. Where, if you're not playing with other people, the game might not be very fun. Because arcade games are all about co-op. They wanted to make the most they could. It was about the co-op experience, you know. And this game's a great co-op game. Um, I'm talking on my ass here, by the way, so if I say something that seems a little outlandish, uh, please take it personal and uh, let me know in the comments about how upset I've made you. Now, right, red guys are trolls, but these guys don't have guns, so whatever. They don't deserve a gun. They, they couldn't shoot straight. They failed the fucking... They failed the uh, shooting range or something. They didn't have the 2020 vision it takes to have a, have a gun. I think I just screwed that up, whatever. I mean, I'll have to play the arcade game more, but uh, I think I said something the other day. And, uh, the arcade game, you have to play very safe. You have to attack, run away, get your hits in, run away. Uh, that being said, the game's much shorter. Even the first level is like half as short. I mean, people say, oh, this game's longer, they added extra levels. They added extra levels, but uh, some of the levels in the arcade game, they extended quite a bit. The first level is super short on the arcade game. This one has a couple more, uh, I don't know what you'd call them, a couple more, uh, Rounds, I guess. What's the word I'm looking for? Though? I'm looking for, you know, we'll have a couple. This game has a few more waves, a few more waves of enemies and whatnot. So. Um, but yeah, you got to kind of stick and move a lot more. These guys are the. These guys, I've I've called these red guys the biggest trolls in the game, without a doubt. They can be pretty tr tricky. I used to think the yellow ones were pretty up there in the troll level, but uh, the red ones are the main. The main trolls of the Foot Clan gang. Which is not a gang you want to be a part of. You gotta be a robot, first of all. If you're not a robot, you can't even join the fucking clan. Damn clan. And uh, of course, I got hit by a car because I'm a Ninja Turtle, that's what they do. Uh, arcade game's good, though, I mean. It's just totally. You, gotta, you can't approach it this way, and you can't approach it like a beetle. I guess that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to figure out what I want to say so I can get off the subject of it. Um, and it doesn't have that satisfying plot. Fuck that up too. I don't really... I know. I don't, I'm not even really thinking when I play this game anymore. I'm just going through the motions. I'm trying to knock motherfuckers out. 318 motherfuckers I've knocked out so far. That's a lot of motherfuckers, man. Ooh, a tree fur. Just got a tree fur. Alright, for some reason I've been screwing up on this guy. Maybe I never knew how to fight him properly. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Whatever. Pizza Hut. Oh, shit. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I'm just going to uh, play it safe. So yeah, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. They did good investment by fucking advertising in this game. I mean, freaking 30 years later, they're still getting free advertisement. They should give me a free pizza, man. I've been streaming this game like crazy. 
using it as a warm-up game, getting all the achievements, and look at all the Pizza Hut ads. It's interesting though, because in in the Turtles movies when they came out, they were they were eating Domino's, Domino's pizza. And I think I prefer Domino's pizza. I don't know. I haven't had a, ch a chain chain pizza forever, man. Well, my dick don't get much harder than this. Do you have a condom? Yes. Fuck me! Fuck me! <laughs> It's a terrific condom. I, mean, I don't live in New York City or nothing. I live in the state of New York, but they got we got plenty of pizza places around here that do pizza right. Pizza's like a multi-million dollar fucking. You open up a, a pizza place around here, you're a freaking millionaire, man. In fact, I used to play in a, a soul band, a really good soul band. And, uh, we'd play some parties and stuff. One time we played for uh, a guy who owned a pizza chain around here, just locally. It's a crazy chain, man. They actually ship pizza all over the world and shit. They really do. Uh, I'm not gonna mention them by name. But anyway, we played this guy's house and it, you know... It was some fucking straight up gangster shit. Scarface status. I'm not even joking. It's like... You know, motherfucker had white carpet, dude. That's gangster. Fucking the staircases that go up and around the corner and all that shit. I mean, we just played in the backyard or whatever. But, you know, it's like, man, pizza bought all this shit? Man, pizza. Pizza, pizza. It's crazy, man. It's like, pizza bought all this sh Paid for all this sh That's fucking crazy. Yeah, these guys are trolls. Actually, these guys are probably more trolly than the damn red ones. These dickheads. How am I not hitting him? But, I mean, that's crazy. It's crazy. Pizza, pizza power, man. Pizza power. Um, so what the fuck was I trying to talk about? I'm not talking about anything. I'm talking about everything and nothing all at once. But yeah, Domino's was in the... Whatever, man. Pizza Hut did right. Now, if anyone still has a coupon for this, let me know. I'm sure it's expired, but I think it's worth money. I'm trying to complete my CIB of this game. Even though I'm going to retire this game soon, so I'm not going to play it. But yeah, I got to get the... Now, you know, I got the box. I got the manual. <laughs> I got the inserts, man, but I'm missing the fucking coupons. I'm missing the coupons, yo. You guys got the coupons? So if anyone's got that coupon for the personal pan size pizza that came with this game, let me know. I'm looking for that coupon. If it's in mint condition, I will give you a uh, dollar. And if it's uh, got some wrinkles and shit, uh, you can just give it to me for free. And, uh, I'd appreciate it. I'm trying to get a complete box, okay? You guys know how it is. Help, help a motherfucker out. Now, uh, personal size pizzas, man, what a joke, man. This game is cheap, man. You got the kids looking at the advertisement. Oh, I, I forgot to mention, uh, the motorcycle guys, when I was doing that 15, 20 achievement, because I'm fucking crazy and stupid, uh, you can endlessly kick them off their bikes, and that will, uh, yeah, I was farming them for like an hour, half hour, probably a half hour, just sitting there, knocking them off their bikes. I don't think these ones respawn, but yeah, so if you want to get some points or something, when you see that big tire there, just hang out there and learn to knock some bikers off. It's kind of tricky, but uh, you can get the hang of it. If I can do it, you can do it. Now, that being said, uh, personal size pizzas, man. If I remember correctly, that was some bullshit. That was for kids. This was back before, you know, kids were overweight and shit. Like, I mean, we had fat kids and stuff. We always had fat kids. But we, it wasn't such a problem as it was like today. But it doesn't matter. I mean, that pizza was small, dude. I want to say it was eight inches, but it could have been six. A little six-inch pizza? What the fuck is that? Don't have a lot of time for lunch. For lunch. Bit of a... Hurry. New personal pan pizza at Pizza Hut. Starting at $1.49 personal size, pan size pizza they used to call it. I think that shit was six inches, man. It might have been eight. I really doubt it was ten. Really doubt it was ten. I mean, you can put that pizza next to, next to certain people's cocks and it's just like, man, the pizza's so small. So I just hit 400 here. So I just got a one-up. A one up. I guess a goal for this game would be let's see if we can get five lives. That was an achievement. That was a pretty hard one too. But now that's not such a problem anymore. 
Uh, the next level is the hardest level in the game, in my opinion. To, uh... Not this level, I'm sorry. Level after this. I don't even know. I've never played this game before. Uh... Yeah, let's try to get five lives here, people. Uh, that's pretty good. If you get five lives, you should be able to be alright in this game. You're gonna need those lives, though. I think it's really important to, uh, if you're not too familiar with this game, to, uh, to really have a good front end of this game. I would say, again, the next level is the first level you should die on if you're trying to get through this game, I think, safely. Unless you got those pro strats. I don't even know what those pro strats are. I've just been, been playing. But if you can get to the next level without dying, you still have a good chance uh, to maybe beat the game. You're going to want to get three to three lives going in that tech drone, maybe. Well, I, don't, I don't even know what's going on. I didn't have personal size pizza before I played this game. If I did, I'd be playing a lot more, a lot more better, a lot more better. Although I might have to have a cigarette break here, and whenever I have a cigarette break, of course I'm fucking multitasking, so uh, my gameplay just goes out the window. Oh shit, we just hit 420 too, I was going to tell you guys to smoke one up. I was going to say, light it up. Light one up, man. I forgot. It was only three kills ago. You guys can still light it up. Light it up. Maybe I'll get to 1420. No. I, we're not doing that ever again. That was the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. Kill 1520 points. It was ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Alright, this is the hardest level in the game, in my opinion. The hardest level to do deathless. You gotta start off right with these Mausers. Make sure they don't start biting you on the arm. Because then, then you've already lost a piece of health. That's no way to start a level. And you got these. Oh shit. Ah oh, shit, see what I'm saying? And you got these guys who should be really simple. But, uh. See? You get the bad luck. And they're gonna, they're gonna troll you. They're gonna troll you. Just like that. These are the. Ah, uh, this one really bad. Whatever. Still not the worst. Yet. We might be alright. I thought it was four mousers that came out of here. I guess it's five. Or six? It's five. Five is the luckiest number. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm improvising. Come on, man. Die. Ugh, shank. You damn shankers. <clears throat> Whatever. I mean... Okay, what else can we talk about here? Here's the red guys, they're the fucking worst. I'm gonna try to take them out the best I can. Before they start trolling. So they will troll you. So this is fun and, and exciting, right? Now, I know a lot of people don't like this game. It's not the arcade game, but I like it. It's fine. It's a great co-op game. And again, I think it's a hard game to get through. I don't think this is an easy game. Um, you know, back in the day, you used the code and stuff. That's cool. But, uh, I mean, I would challenge anybody to pick this game up and try to beat it. And by beat it, I mean, you know, legit, default, no code, shit. It's really bad if you let these guys get up. It's not in your favor. Try to kill them on wake up. Saving yourself a lot of grief. Oh, good grief. Good grief. But yeah, getting through this game on Wake Up, uh, you know, straight up, I think is uh, still pretty challenging. So yeah, this is the hardest level for me. This is the level where uh, I used to die at least once here. Where the boss would get me, you know, the kind of the goal is to get to the pizza. This level has a pizza. Not every level in this game has pizza, man. For a Turtles game, there's a, quite a bit of lack of pizza in this game. I think this game could use more pizza. But uh, maybe that's just me. This game's on a diet, I guess. I don't fucking know. Uh, I don't even have a fucking thing for these guys. These guys suck. 
They're usually gonna get me a couple times here, you know. You know how it goes. I got the yellows. Uh, I mean, I think this is the best beat em up on. Well, I mean, you know, personal preference, it's like, depends on the games you like. This is one of my favorite uh, beat em ups on the system, though. I like it more than Mighty Final Fight, at least at the moment. Fuck Mighty Final Fight. The game pissed me off. I can beat that game pretty good with Guy. I don't know why. I think I'm just in a guys. Um, the last time I... yeah. Anyway. Uh, these guys you can pretty much just ignore. They take two hits with this thing. Or three hits by other means. And they're worth a point. Whatever. Anyway, boss time. Alright, this guy's a troll. I'm gonna try to beat him without dying. Uh, so we're gonna use kind of a slow and steady wins the race technique. I'm gonna stay way under him. Way under him. I mean, he's probably gonna guess here and there, but... We're gonna play it safe. Now, if you were speedrunning this game, you would just, uh, belt him with these as fast as possible. Let him kill you, whatever you gotta do. But we're gonna play it super safe try to beat this guy deathless, we're gonna get to the next level, we're gonna have five fucking lives, we'll be rocking this shit like fucking Hard Rock Cafe. Uh, you're gonna start blinking soon. You dirty rat! You killed my brother! You dirty rat! You dirty rat! You killed my brother, you dirty rat! This is fun, this is exciting, right? Oh god, he's finally blinking. Oh shit, I can still die here. This could go bad real quick here. But we're good, we didn't even need the pizza. Is it still there though? I'll take it, I'll take it. Yeah, Donald Hill, he's like in the Domino's and shit too. But like I said, I haven't had chain pizza forever. If he ain't back in 10 minutes, we call it Domino's. Except when I buy it at the store. Sometimes I'll get the Amy's pizza. The Amy's. Um, it's kind of like a hippie pizza. It's a brand, it's a good brand, I think. Reputable. I'll get the Amy pizza sometimes for my freezer, you know. Or I'll get, uh, yeah, that's it. I don't even get, I don't even get the shitty. That's pretty much all I get these days. Or I'll get like uh, the store I go to. They make an okay pizza. I don't know. Shit's too fucking salty, man. We all like salt. Shit's too fucking salty. Guess it depends on what you get. Pizza's generally pretty salty. Um, yeah, but I don't even fuck with that other shit. Tombstone DiGiorno, I haven't had that, that shit forever. For Ezra. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Let's try not to die on this level either. What's going on here? I've never beaten this game deathless. I don't care about that. It's not something that sounds fun to me. Uh, mainly because Krang wants to death. Let's just get the damn thing over with. Shredder can be a big problem. Uh, hopefully he's not a problem today. He hasn't been a problem lately, but we'll see. Maybe my thumbs will finally give out. Uh, we're not having a good level here. Uh, let's see here. This is where the spike comes, or what? Is this where the spikes come? No, that's where people start jumping out of the floors. Jumping out of the floors. That's pretty awesome. Uh, say something. Say something out of your mouth, man. Say something. People are gonna not fucking watch this anyway, so give a shit, but whatever. It's Turtles, Turtles 2, the arcade game. That's not the arcade game. But it's a good game. Uh, I think it's my fa- No, not my- What am I saying? I think I like it- I don't know, man. My favorite on the NES is probably the first one. I mean, if I had to pick one Turtles game to be on a, an island with, it'd probably be the first one. I do like the first one. Flaws and all. Come on, screen, scroll. Scroll, screen, scroll. Um. Hold on. Tigers. 
They should have lions, tigers, and bears in this game. He's probably gonna get me. He's gonna get me. Their tail is very dangerous. Do not hit the tiger's tail in this game, or you might be in trouble. Like a crook in fucking Detroit in the future. That's that, that's the type of trouble you could be in if you let their tail hit you. What was I talking about? Tigers. Kill these tigers. Turn them into tiger bomb. You guys ever use tiger bomb? It's pretty cool. I like tiger bomb. I like to put it on my balls. Seriously, I think I've done that. Uh, let's not go there. Let's, let's think about other things to bring up in these playing with the dick episodes. We've got more things to talk about. Okay, let me think here. Is this where the fucking anal, anal bead scorpions come? I think so. The anal bead scorpions are not your friends. They can really troll your ass hard. So you really want to deal with the anal bead scorpions the right way. Which I am not doing, but I'm trying my best. These fucking anal bead scorpions are fuck your day up, man. They really can. They can really get you bad. I don't know what happened to me here. And I think there's more of them. Shit, man. Yep, this is not go good. We're gonna survive. I think we're gonna survive. However, I'm not very happy with the anal bean scorpion fight here. I was not prepared for that. I even thought, I even stopped, said, oh, the anal bean scorpions are coming. The anal bean scorpions are coming. And then look what happened. Got fucking screwed over. I mean, I don't really know how to play this game. I don't really know how to deal with every, every goddamn situation the best way possible or anything. I just kind of go with the flow. I was going to say something kind of nasty. Flow. But yeah, I just go with the flow. Uh, this boss can be a bitch. I might die on this boss, depending on my moves. I don't know. I don't know if there's fucking randomness to some of these dudes. Probably there is. Oh my god, I'm getting my ass kicked. That's not good. At least there's a pizza in this level. Still, however, it would have been nice to uh, get to him with a little bit of health. Like, maybe more health than I have now. Of course, those anal beat scorpions got me a little bit. So that's not good. I should probably get the pizza. I guess get the damn pizza. Just get it over and get the damn pizza. So yeah, this fight's... Uh, I'm going to shut up here. I'm going to actually see what I can do here. Uh, so, guys, his head's gone. This guy's one of those lucky motherfuckers who can take his head off. Which results in him uh, having good nights at night. God damn it. Stop talking. I'm going to die. Fuck die. First death of the game. Nothing wrong with dying in a game. It's a video game. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. It's all on how you play the game. It's not whether you win or lose, but how you play the fucking game. God damn, this guy in his fucking head. Oh no. This fucking guy. Oh god. Can't get away from his head. He's trolling me. Showing me bad. Oh! Oh! Yep. Thank fucking God. I almost died. I would have had a heart attack if I died. Fucking heart attack. I guess he was a robot. Go figure. Never played this game before. There it is. There it is. Alright, this is the last level of the game. It's the Technodrome. It's a uh, fun level. Scene 7. Again, I'm totally retiring this game after this Let's Play here. So, yeah. I love the music in this game. I think the soundtrack is fucking fantastic. Fantastic. It's fucking very good. I'll give it that. Just skip all that shit. Who cares? Just skip it. Skip it. Just like skip it. The, the toy. Remember those toy lines? Skip it. 
was like, for people who didn't want to jump rope, I, I don't know. It was a stupid joke. I think it was called Skip It. I think it was called Skipper. I don't remember. No, Skipper was Barbie's sister, right? A little, I don't fucking know. I'm sure she's still a thing. I'm sure she's still a thing. Someone who should really teach these freaking guys how to hug properly. They don't understand the concept of hugs. These foot soldiers. They just, uh... Like to grab you from the back and call it a hug. It's like, that, that's the bad type of hug. Man. Uh, those ice things, they just ignore you. Yeah, annoy you sometimes. They annoy you. They don't actually take any health as far as I've ever seen. I don't know. I've never noticed any health taken from them, so... Don't let them stress you out. Just a little ice. Feels good on a cool day. You gotta really get these guys on wake up, or they can, uh, you're gonna have a bad time if you don't get them on wake up. Because their laser gun is pretty bad. It's just like Bebop's laser gun. It's just gonna, it's gonna get ya. It's gonna get ya. So I try to kill these guys as fast as I can on wake up before that happens. It can be kinda tricky. Tricky dicky. Like Lil Dicky. My favorite rapper. My favorite Jewish rapper. It's probably Lil Dicky. I don't even know. But I'm probably not. I like Little Dicky. Little Dicky's cool. Okay, like I said, these guys are the worst. I'm just gonna jump kick them. Oh, no, I'm not, because they fucking like to do that, because they're trolls. Damn trolls. Alright, so, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna. Again, I don't want to beat this game to death. This is not the fucking point. This boss. When I get to him, it's probably gonna kill me. I don't know. I don't think I really care too much. I got five lives. Any more lives, I might turn into a Teenage Mutant Ninja Cat. Teenage Mutant Ninja Cat. So I was playing Rockin' Cats the other day. I was gonna check it out. I might try to get all the achievements in that game. That game's weird, man. It's pretty cool, though. It's got a lot of cool shit in it. I don't know if you guys have ever played Rockin' Cats. I would definitely check out Rockin' Cats, though. I'm just checking it out, more or less. I'm not gonna play this game if my name is Willie. She's naked. I'm coming fast as I can, bitch. God. The only reason I'm coming is because your mouth is open. Look at her mouth. She can't wait for that cock. I will not give Jill to you, White. The hell not, man. You're a dog, she's a cat. I will give you some of my heavy sound. Man, they need to get a better lighting guy. And I don't know what happened. I was streaming and somebody brought up something called Samurai Pizza Cats. I was like, what the fuck is Samurai Pizza Cats? Uh, Stone Moose, what is that? You guys keep saying it, but you don't tell me what it is. Please explain before you leave. What the fuck are you talking about? Is it a game? Like a video game? Well, what is it? Is it a video game? Nobody... You guys keep saying the words, but you don't... Guys, don't say what it is. It's rather annoying. Samurai Pizza Cats. Samurai Pizza Cats. So like, oh, it's a video game or something. I guess it's a show, cartoon, comic. I don't know. What the origins were, but it's a Famicom game called Samurai Pizza Cats. So I was like, I just stopped what I was doing, man. I was like, why the hell am I playing Rocking Cats? If there's a game in existence called Samurai Pizza Cats. You said it was an NES game. Well, why am I playing this game when I could play Samurai Pizza Cats? That's the fucking question of the day. So I popped that game in right away. And started playing Samurai Pizza Cats. And, uh, that's a good game. If you have not played Samurai Pizza Cats for the Famicom, I would go play that game right now. And if you can't play it right now, play it yesterday, okay? Pretty sweet game, Samurai Pizza Cats. I'll have to play it again. I liked it. This is the best NES game ever. I liked it a lot. I think there's an English translation, but uh, you do not need to know Japan to really play that game at all. It's not like a Go-Man game. Uh, a a Gonberry Go-Man, I think, or any of those sort of games where it kind of helps in a little Japanese. So, uh, yeah, it's not like Go-Man. Gonberry Go-Man, whatever. go man Not like one of those. Let's get the salty pizza. Alright, so we got some fucking dickheads here. Run along, you little scamp. 
I have not gotten a triple in a long time, but bastards, whatever, I don't care. When you little scams get together, you're worse than a sewing circle. It is a great feeling when you got all three of those fuckers in the fucking, right there in the thingy, and you're just wailing on them super quick. Shows us a trick to it. Dickens. Roadkill Rodwells. I believe that's what their technical name is. Not sure what that's all about, but... Oh, I almost got it. Ah, screw it up. You know what? These guys you really don't want to uh, do your secret move on too much. I, don't think. I think that's quicker. Well, it's not about quicker. It's about ease. What's easy? Alright, come on, you Donkey Kong rejects there. You guys have been playing Donkey Kong wrong, man. Smashing the cabinet. That's not how you play. What the fuck am I talking about? So, whatever. I guess I'll play this boss safe and see if I can beat him deathless. It's kind of lame. Again, I've been playing this game pretty wrong. There's ways to kill the enemies a lot faster and get a lot more twofers. But I could care. So we got uh, this guy here. They screwed him up a little bit from the arcade game. You can kind of fight him just like the blue one, but he, you need a little more spacing. This guy's got a little bit more reach. See what I mean? And uh, he ducks. Yeah, he's probably gonna get me. He's probably gonna get me. Whatever. Playing this safe. Playing this safe. Again, I just do the fucking jump move because it's uh, a little more powerful. Oh yeah, he's got me. He's got me good. Again, you don't want him hitting you and hitting you, getting you in that laser wall. The laser wall will uh, zizz ya, zizz ya, will zap ya. Yeah, he's gonna get me. I mean, I, I don't know. I can play it a little safer. But I'm trying to retire this game. I'm trying to retire. Retire it for good. Not play it ever again. All right, there we go. All right, so we made it to. Final two bosses here, Krang and Shredder. We did not die. We did not die. So that's pretty good. That's a good game. That's like a good little round. Uh, this guy, I mean, I don't even know how. I've never... I, know. I should just kind of rack him. It takes him out a lot faster, you know? I don't know if I want to go through the, through the motions. I don't know if we want to go through the motions be a pretty long going fight here but you know in my head I know what's going on here because I'm a Ninja Turtle kid I know the stakes here I know what's going on I hear Krang's fucking voice in my head and he's fucking talking shit and fucking so you know I got it going on I use my imagination I know what's going on here these sick fucks so I know what's at stake here so, playing safe for the cause is probably not a bad idea, but I'm going to die here anyway. Because uh, that's what you do. You lose a life once in a while. There's no shame in it. There's no shame in it. But uh, he's got a really... Yeah, he's tricky. He's really tricky to, uh, to beat Deathless. I have you using other strats. I can see yawning in it. Why don't you just jump kicking him? Why don't you just kick kicking him? Because every three times he does that, he's going to kick me in the fucking head. That's why. Yeah, I mean, you can do the jump kicking thing. And bap in the head, right? Or something. Again, this doesn't do as much damage as the other one, but whatever. Oh, kick in the head, yeah. Alright, whatever. Whatever works. I enjoy seeing both people and animals I'm not going to use any continues. No continues. Oh, he's blinking. All right, so blinking's good. Good old Konami. They like to make people blink. There I like blinking. Be no problem if blinking I had is cool. Body. It's far out, man. All right, now we got Shredder. All right, here's the thing with Shredder. <clears throat> this fight is very hard if you don't know how to make it easy. Now, an easy way to do this 
is to isolate the fake shredder from the real shredder, and then it'll hit the fake shredder again. Because it's got a mutagen gun, the mutagen gun will hit you in one hit, you're dead. One hit, you're dead with the mutagen gun. So, you kind of want to isolate these fucks and then just fucking see what you can do. So, as long as you're hitting them, you're, they won't shoot the mutagen gun, but if you aren't hitting them, that mutagen gun might come out and the mutagen gun comes out. You better, better watch out, man. So he's going to go do it now. Oh, uh, there's the fake one. So, if you got the fake one isolated, he is not going to use the mutagen gun. So now you just focus on the real one and try to avoid the fake one. Because if you hit the fake one twice, he'll get his helmet back. And then he's a problem again. And then you have to do the whole shit again. And it's a big pain in the ass. Now I'm trying to hit Shredder as fast as possible here so he doesn't get time to use the mutagen gun. Oh shit, I almost went after the... F almost hit the fucking... Ah, right, we got some... Ah, uh, this is going bad. Might die here. Uh, like... The best strat here is really doing this jump kicky thing. It's kind of like a circle thing, kind of back and forth, back and forth. Trying to avoid the fake shredder. If I hit him, too, you don't want him getting his helmet back, and then you gotta start the whole loop over again. Big pain in his. But once his helmet comes off, you can pretty much do whatever you want. And that was cool. And then, ah. What was cool? Nothing was cool. That's cool. Cool school high. So I'm looking f Oh, wait. anyway, I'm getting the achievement, because I beat the game, I got all the achievements, but this one was not on hardcore setting. So, uh, I need to be a fucking... There we go, we beat the game. One more hit. One more hit. One more hit. One more hit! There we go. Give me my money. Oh, achievement. That might not even show up on the screen, but yeah. Ten points, twenty points on hardcore, there you go. Anyway, so if anyone watched this, this is extremely boring, uh, playing with the dick episode. I just wanted to beat Turtles 2 for the last time. Took about 50 minutes, which is pretty long. This game's pretty long. I think you can beat this game in a lot faster, but just casual play. Uh, died once, that's fine. That's a pretty good game. I mean, I got this game down now since I fucking did the achievement list or whatever. Uh, if you're interested in the achievement thing, you know, again, I'm not endorsed by these people. Uh, I think it's a fun thing to do. I don't think this achievements list was really good, but some games have some pretty cool achievements. You can play Excite Bike without steering. That was fun. Excite Bike without steering. Getting through a lot of courses. It's a pretty long game, Excite Bike. But that was fun. Uh, RetroAchievements.org if you're interested in doing achievements. But again, that was kind of my motivation for playing some of these games recently. I've been playing a lot of Jazz. Jazz by LJN. I was playing Mighty Final Fight, but uh, fuck that game. Uh, I mean, you can see me, what I'm doing on that site anyway. You can add me as a friend. We can be friends on RetroAchievements.org. But yeah, now that I've gotten all the achievements here, uh, nothing left to do with this game except retire it. I think I'm going to start playing either the other games from the NES, or I think I'm going to start playing the arcade game. But again, the arcade game, you can't play like a beat-em-up. Well, it is a beat-em-up, but you can't play it like a fight on fight You can't mash. I learned that the hard way the other day when I played it. You can't play this game and then go play an arcade game and think you're going to win using the same techniques you got. Poke them and run away. Unless you're playing with four players, then just fucking have at it. Four players, you just gang rape them all gang up on them and do what a gang does. But by yourself, you know, different game, you gotta play with different strategies. Uh, I'm not sure it's a great game by yourself, to be honest. Arcade games sometimes are very lonely by yourself. Sometimes they don't even... Sometimes a game that's, that would be fun with two players is just balls by yourself. Again, this game kicks ass with two players. It's a good co-op game. What are you drinking? Am I drinking sparkling water with lime? It's calorie free. <sighs> calorie free. Ha 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 ha. Alright, so I'm not even gonna really edit this one. It's really boring. I'm just throwing it up there. Just wanted I figured I'd play the game through one more final time. Get my last hardcore achievement, because I wasn't on the other day. And just, yeah, that's Turtles 2. I like it. It's kind of a mixed opinion game, but it's a good game. I still think it's pretty hard to beat. Uh, no continues, just kind of 
through it, running through it, you know what I mean? I don't think it's a, a complete walk in the park, so it's a pretty good challenging game. So, uh, yeah, don't use your passwords. Get the game going and play with a friend, hopefully have some good times. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm rambling. There was no goals for this game except, uh... Alright, here's the Turtles. Fucking Turtles 2. I'm retiring it. Retiring it. I still like the game, though. I still like it. All right, thanks for watching. I will um, try to, uh, you know, do something better soon, video-wise. Turtles 2, the arcade game. That's not the arcade game. By Konami. Gotta love good old Konami. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. If you watched this all the way to the end, and um, have a good day, okay? Thank you. Power Bunker Turtle Power. I will see you guys next time, hopefully. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I know I just said that like I fucking didn't mean it, but I do mean it. I do fucking mean it. Thank you so much. So fucking much. I'm just watching the demo here. It kind of makes me want to hit start and play it again. I'm going to play it again. As a real turtle. Raphael. He's my motherfucking turtle. Raphael is my turtle. I love Raphael. Raphael kicks so much fucking more ass than I'm telling. Oh, the game's so much easier now, too. Look at that, just bitch slapping across the face with size. Oh, it's so fucking gangster. Oh, damn. I just want to say damn all day long now. Damn, damn, damn. Not like fucking Doc from fucking Back to the Future. Not damn, 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 but damn, damn. I want it to resonate and echo like fucking Ralph in the movie. Not Ralph, Raph. I always say Ralph. Like I'm, oh, his name is I'm Ralph, saying Ralph. Man. I meant Raph. This isn't the Christmas story here. This isn't Ralphie. This is Raffy. A little too Raph. Raphael. Are you on something? I'm not on anything. I'm not fucking on anything. You guys always think that. Can a guy talk? I call it Diary of the Mouth. I'm like, it's like I'm not thinking about what I'm saying and I'm not thinking about where I'm playing. It's like a nice even in the middle of the of the of the road between the two. And that's how uh, how you get good at doing Let's Plays. I mean, I'm not good at it. You're supposed to talk when you do them. You're supposed to play while you do them. I just kind of try to meet it halfway. Halfway in the, in the middle. So I'm talking and I'm playing, but I'm not really doing both. But I'm doing both. It's really hard to explain. I've got a lot of my mind. Wait, I thought I was going to retire this game. Oh, it's so much fun. Slapping fucking bitches across the face with your sons. What's better than that? Come on. What is better than that? Don't say Pizza Hut. I don't even think they make personal size pizza anymore. You'd have to order four of them. That's the diet we're on. Okay, I better go. Uh, let me just kill 50. Nah, 55. Yeah, 55 is my number. Kill these albino fucking foot soldiers here. Alright, I gotta go. Bye.